आई एम प्रशांति मैथमेटिक्स इज ऑल अबाउट ऑपरेशन लाइक एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन बट एज वी आर इन हायर ग्रेड्स दिस थिंग्स आर नॉट अ बिग डील फॉर अस बट द रियल बिग डील इज डूइंग दिस थिंग्स क्विकर सो ह्योर आई एम टूडे विद सम डिविजिबिलिटी रूल विच विल मेक योर डिविजन रियली फास्ट बिफोर एंटरिंग द क्लास लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डिविजन इज ऑल अबाउट सो डिविजन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रेकिंग द नंबर इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड फाइंडिंग आउट हाउ मेनी इक्वल पार्ट्स आर मेड इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय स्विस मैथमेटिशियन जोहान रान सो लेट्स एंड स्टार्ट आवर क्लास सो वी विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस क्लास सो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ टू एंड थ्री डिविजिटी रूल बाई फोर एंड फाइव डिविजिबिलिटी रूल बाई सिक्स एंड एट नाइन एंड टेन सेवन इलेवन एंड थर्टीन लेट्स बिगिन विद द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल बाई टू विच इज द सिंपलेस्ट रूल बिकॉज यू जस्ट हैव टू टेक द नंबर एंड सी इट्स यूनिट डिजिट और द लास्ट डिजिट If it is an even number, including zero, then the whole number will be divisible by two. So let's check some with some examples. Two, four, five, six, seven, zero. So as we have discussed, if there will be zero in the unit digit, the number will be divisible by two. Let's take some more examples. Two, seven, eight, seven, nine, nine, eight. What about the unit digit? The unit digit has eight, which is an even number. So that is why. The whole number will be divisible by two. Let's take one more example: three, five, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven. What about the last digit here? Obviously, it's an odd number, so that means the whole number is not divisible by two. Got it? Now let's start divisibility rule by three. In this, we have to take the number and break its digits. Just add the digits, find the sum. If the sum is the multiple of three, then the whole number will be divisible by three. Otherwise, it's not divisible. Let's take one example: two five two. Very simple number. Okay. What we need to do? Just take the sum of the digits, which is five to seven to nine. Is nine the multiple of three? Of course, yes. so this whole number will be divisible by 3 need not to do actual division here let's take some bigger number 2 7 9 8 12 let's sum it sum its digits 2 plus 7 plus 9 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 so what will we do here 2 plus 7 plus 9 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 8 26 27 and this is 29 is 29 a multiple of 3 no so that means this whole number this complete number is not divisible by 3 you understood just you need to take the number get its digit sum and let's and check for is whether the sum is multiple of 3 or not okay let's continue with the divisibility rule of 4 and 5 divisible rule 4 says that if last two digit of any number is the multiple of 4 then the whole number will be divisible 4 let's see how it works 2 5 7 9 4 2 four what is the last two digit here yes last two digit is 24 which means it is a multiple of 4 that means the whole number will be divisible by 4 so actual division is not required just looking at the number looking at the last two digit will give you the answer now let's see 57492420 and the last two digit is of course 20 5 times 4 is 20 which is definitely a multiple of 4 so the whole number will be divisible by 4 let's take one more example Three two three 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 two three two two three. Okay, here twenty three is not a multiple of four, of course. So that means this whole number will not be divisible by four. Really simple, right? Now the simplest is the divisible rule by five, because here you need not to check the multiples, factors, nothing. You just look at the last digit. If the last digit is zero or five, the number is divisible by five. Very easy. Let's see some examples. 
if i have 5070 is it divisible by 5 last digit is 0 so yes it is divisible by 5 if i have another number 5475 29 what about this number so of course this number has 9 at its unit digit so which is not 0 or 5 so any number which ends with 0 or 5 will be divisible by 5 without any doubt let's understand the next things let's understand the divisibility rule of 6 and 8 you will understand the divisibility rule of 6 only and only if you have understood the divisibility rule of 3 and 2 properly and i am sure you have done that so let's check for divisibility rule by 6 let's say we have a number 2 4 3 2 1 0 if i see the last digit of this number it is of course 0 which means it is divisible by 2 now we have to check for the divisibility of 3 for that we need to sum the digits which is 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 1 is 12 12 plus 0 is 12 of course so 12 is of course the multiple of 3 that means 2 4 3 2 1 0 this number is divisible by 2 and 3 both so the whole number will be divisible by 6 as well so we have to keep it in our mind that 2 and 3 not 2 or 3 if if i have a number suppose let's say we have 3 4 2 9 6 8 if i have a number like this so we can easily say that yes the number is divisible by 2 because its last digit is an even number now let's check whether it is divisible by 3 or not so for that we need to add the digits 437 729 99 18 18 plus 6 24 24 plus 6 uh, 8 is 32 and we can say easily that 32 is not divisible by 3 that means this number like the number 3 4 2 9 6 8 this number is divisible by 2 but not divisible by 3 that means will this number be divisible by 6 no this number will not be divisible by 3 because it is divisible by only 2 i hope this was easy for you okay now let's do the division rule of 8 so for this we need to check if any number has last three digits divisible by 8 that means the whole number is going to be divisible by 8 let's take an example 2 4 6 9 2 5 1 2 if i have a number like this we need to check the last three digits which is 512 and 512 is divisible by 8 so if 512 is divisible by 8 that means the last three number last three digits is divisible by 8 that means the whole number is going to be divisible by 8 i have one more trick so that trick is if any number we all know the divisibility rule of 2 and 4 do you remember yes so we have to apply those rules here if any number is divisible by 2 and 4 as well again i'm saying and not or so if the number is divisible by 2 and 4 as well that then the whole number is going to be divisible by 8 let's check the same for this number you we have 512 okay now what we need to do we need to check whether this number is divisible by 2 so yes because its last digit is divisible by 2 if we will see again the same number whether this number is divisible by 4 yes because the last two digit is the multiple of 4 so we can say easily that the number 2 4 6 9 2 5 1 2 the whole number is divisible by 2 
and 4 both that means the whole number is divisible by 8 simple isn't it so what you need to do you need to keep like divisible rule of 2 3 basic these things in your mind then the bigger number will be done automatically let's move on let's do the divisibility rule of 9 and 10 first we will do the divisibility rule of 10 because this is super easy what you need to do is just to check the last digit if the last digit is 0 then the whole number is going to be divisible by 10 like 2 4 6 2 8 0 0 if the last digit what is the last digit here of course 0 the whole number will be divisible by 10 we can take few more examples 2 7 8 9 8 0 again 0 whenever we have we have to see just the 0 in the last digit whenever we see 0 we will say yes it is divisible by 10 we'll take 5 7 8 7 9 8 what about now because it has no 0 here that means the whole number is not divisible by 10 super easy right now let's take and let's understand the divisibility rule of 9 so do you remember the divisibility rule of 3 which we have done now yes we have to repeat the same process we know divisible rule of 3 says that you have to take the number and you have to get the sum of its digits if the sum is the multiple of 3 then of course the whole number will be divisible by 3 just we need to change this 3 with 9 what we have to do we have to again take a number we have to get the sum of its digit and we have to check whether this sum is the multiple of 9 if yes then the whole number is divisible by 9 if no then this number is not going to be divisible by 9 let's check with an example 2 4 3 2 4 now 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 that means 4 2 6 6 3 9 9 1 10 10 to 12 12 plus 4 is 16 is 16 divisible by 9 of course not it is not the multiple of 9 that means it is not divisible by 9 what we need to do just copy the same number and just write one more digit let us suppose 2 now we easily can say here only we have to just add 2 that means this number now will be 18 if this number is 18 is 8 in the multiple of 9? Yes. That means the whole number will be divisible by 9. So this number is not divisible by 9 because its sum was 16 which is not a multiple of 9. And this number is divisible by 9 because we get the sum 18 which is the multiple of 9. So this is also very easy. Here one more fact I want to share with you that any number can be divisible by 3 but not divisible by 9 but if the same number is divisible by 9 then definitely it will be divisible by 3 let's see how so 2 4 3 okay uh, 2 4 3 2 1 so what will we do 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 4 to 6, 6 3 9, 9 to 11, 11 plus 1, 12. So the sum is 12. That means it is divisible by 3. But is it divisible by 9 also? Is 12 a multiple of 9? No. So that means a number can be divisible by 3 but not divisible by 9. But if the number is divisible by 9, let us suppose one example. Let's just add 6 on it. Add 6 on it add 6 so we will get 18 okay so if i check for 18 18 is divisible by 3 also and is divisible by 9 also so that means if i say the number 2 4 3 2 1 6 this is definitely divisible by 3 and 9 both so you need to check whether it's num the number is divisible by 9 or not if it is divisible by 9 automatically it is divisible by 3 but this case is this thing is not true for divisibility of 3 like if any number is divisible 
divisible by 3 then it need not to be divisible by 9 also so you have to take care of it let's understand the divisibility rule by 7 most of the students make mistakes here so we have to look at it properly what we need to do is to get the difference between the twice of the unique digit of a number and the remaining part of the number let's see how let's let's say we have a number 2455 so what first we need to do we need to get twice of the unique digit that means 10 2 times 5 what is the remaining part we have the remaining part 245 now we need to get the difference 245 which is the remaining part and this is the twice of the unique digit so we have 235 we get 235 here but finding this is also not easy this is also a bigger number we have to break it again we have to repeat the process again what will we do again we have 5 so what we have to twice it which is 10 and the remaining part is 23 so 23 minus 10 is 13 now you can easily tell whether 10 is a multiple of 7 or not so of course not so that means this number is not divisible by 7 so you need to check in this way okay let's say one more example 3 5 7 5 4 if i have a number like this we need to twice the unit digit which is 8 now 3 5 7 5 is the remaining part subtract it then what will you get we will get this is 7 this is 6 this is 5 this is 3 3 5 6 7 which is really a big number what we need to do we need to again repeat the process so we have 356 remaining part 7 times 2 that, which is the twice of the unit digit 14 and then this is 342 now we'll repeat again 342 2 times 4 twice the unit digit 34 minus 8 which is 26 we can now see is 26 a multiple of 7 no so that means the number is not divisible by 7 so this is the way we can check whether the number is divisible by 7 or not so whenever you take this process means you have to repeat the process if the number is bigger so what you have to do just get the difference between twice the unit digit and the remaining part isn't it simple now you can easily just by looking at the number say whether this number is divisible by 7 or not isn't it let's understand the divisibility rule by 11 this rule says if the difference between the sum of the digit at odd places and the sum of the digits of at even places is either 0 or 11 then the whole number will be divisible by 11 let's take an example 9 9 5 2 4 what we need to do is we need to take the odd places first let's sum it which is 11 now we will take the even places which is 5 and 4 which is 9 now we need to get the difference of both the sums which is 11 minus 9 2 so we can see 2 is neither 0 nor the multiple of 11 so that means the whole number is not divisible by 11 shall we take another example one more example is 9 7 2 0 what will we do now again we will take the odd places 9 plus 2 which is 11 now 7 plus 0 which is 7 that means we have to take the difference 4 is 4 divisible by 11 it is neither 0 not divisible by 11 that means the whole number is not divisible by 11 let's take one more example so we will take 2 4 
pipe 3 if we have to check for the odd places the sum will be 7 if we'll check the even places again the sum is 7 if we will get the difference of these two sums then we will get 0 so yes it is 0 so we already have understood either the difference is 0 or 11 then the number whole number is going to be divisible by 11 and we got a 0 here that means this number is definitely divisible by 11 okay isn't it so easy let's understand the divisibility rule by 13 which is most wanted divisibility rule because most of the students get confused here what we have to do here you have to get a number you have to take the unit digit of that number multiply it by 4 get the product and the remaining part will be added with this product if the number if the sum is divisible by 13 or it's the multiple of 13 the whole number will be divisible by 13 let's take an example 2 4 6 5 so we have the unit digit 5 here we will multiply this 5 by 4 then the product is 20 now the remaining part is 246 if we will add 246 and 20 then we will get 266 of course it is again a bigger number so we shall repeat the process like we have done in uh, for multiplication uh, like divisibility rule of 7 the same thing we'll do here 266 is the number now what will we do we will take the last digit and multiply it by 4 which will be 24 now we have to add this number so we'll get 50 and we clearly can say 50 is not the multiple of 13 so that means this number also is not divisible by 13 the same way you need to check for any number so any number what you need to do you need to just take the unit digit multiply it by 4 and then that product you have to get the sum with the remaining part if the whole number is 13 and yes if you get the bigger number don't get afraid you repeat the process one after doing once uh, once or twice you will definitely get your answer easily so obviously you need not to divide this number by 13. so we are at the end of our class we have learned all the divisibility rules if you have any doubt please comment down your doubts below in the comment section now i have a homework for you what you need to do i'm giving five numbers to you all you need to without actually dividing tell me whether the numbers which i have given is divisible by two or not is divisible by three or not you have to make the table and have to tell me like this in the comment section so let's see my first number is five seven two eight three four this is my first number second number is three two seven six zero zero third number is two nine two nine seven three fourth number is five eight three eight seven and the fifth number is three two three two three two three two okay so check for every number just make the table like this and write your number like divisible by two just write it tick mark this way or whichever suitable way you can just you need to tell me whether these five numbers are divisible by these digits or not i hope you like this video and this video was informative for you all because this divisibility rule is the part of everyone's life because everyone wants to do their division quickly if you like this video please follow us on instagram like share and subscribe to our youtube channel midaguru Music